So next thing we want to talk about tonight, we want to talk about the Oscars. Uh, did either of you watch this? Because I didn't. I haven't watched the Oscars in years. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't like the award shows. Uh, I feel like I'm getting preached to every time I watch one of these award shows. And I just can't stand them. Plus, I think the hosts, the majority of times, aren't funny at all. I think the last funny host they had for any one of these shows was Ricky Gervais when he hosts the Golden Globes. That What was that, back in 2019 when he just ripped into everybody? Oh, God, he was funny. <laughs> was it 2019? It was around there, yeah. Okay, it, I think that was the last time that any of these award shows had a host that was funny. So, wow. uh, but despite not seeing it, I am interested in the winners and losers. Um, so what'd you guys think of the show itself? You first. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Um, I did actually watch pretty much the whole thing with my wife. Of course. You um, did. I, well, of course. Um, you know, I thought it was good. I, you know, look, we hadn't seen all of the movies. In fact, I just started watching Oppenheimer. So, um, you know, I don't have a lot to really say in terms of, you know, each individual movie. Um, my favorite uh, part was Ryan Gosling singing, who, my God, that guy, you would not expect him to be funny because he seems like so serious to me and he's hilarious. Um, now, I, will, so I will say when you, you mentioned Ryan Gosling, even though I didn't watch the show itself, I did go watch clips of the monologue and the uh, some of the performances. And I will say that Ryan Gosling's performance was pretty good. Yeah, he, uh, you know, he did well. What if another really cool part that they did was for supporting actors and um, and main actors, they had four winners of the past introduce them. So yeah, I was going like, to ask you guys what you thought cool. about that because I did see that. And a couple of the clips, and I thought that was okay. I didn't think it was great or or bad in any way. I, but it a couple of the the past performers were kind of funny. I thought it was cool, and you had uh, Sam, uh, what's his name, Sam Rockwell, uh, right? Talked to uh, Robert Downey Jr. and he's like, he said Iron Man, and just the way he said Iron Man brought me back to Iron Man too. <laughs> And it was just cool. I liked it. I thought it was good. What do you best, think, Derek? Best okay. First of all, that's the best dance in a movie ever. It's Sam Rockwell dancing in Iron Man. Yeah. Like, yes. That is tremendous. And apparently, he can't help himself. He has to like. Dance I want him. my bird. <laughs> <laughs> I want my bird. I, <laughs> I need suits like Iron Man. <laughs> no, I well, they make salute. We got you, your bird, man. We got the we bird. Got the bird, man. I was not so, my bird. Hey, uh, it's funny we're talking about this because um, my oldest doesn't realize just how many MCU movies there are at this point. Oh, wow. And he goes like, well, how many Iron Mans were there? I'm like, there were three. And then he's like in a bunch of other movies off to the side. And he goes, well, how many movies are there? And I counted them. And he goes, we have to watch all of those? And I said, no. I said, you wanted to watch all of them. So yeah, you, you can miss part three. You can miss Iron Man three. That's okay. Uh, just the then ending of Iron Man three. I thought some of the movies heard that. Pretty good. He's not going to be happy with you. No. <laughs> um, what else is new? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Get in right. line. Look, I'll tell you this. Compared to the new stuff Marvel's bringing out, Iron Man three looks like Citizen Kane. <laughs> Probably. You said that about Iron Man two when we talked about it. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm way off base. <laughs> <laughs> there it um, is. so all right the oscars uh here's how i got uh wrapped into that um my, my missus was uh watching the red carpet that was something that her and her mom used to do okay. and uh the other tv was taken in the other room by the children so i had to watch not the oscars or pj masks so hmm. take a guess what i chose pj masks and, Yes, yes, that's that. I've watched Catboy for three hours. <laughs> oh, no, wow. um, so then, um, luckily, uh, the <laughs> missus was like, Well, let's make some food and made a bunch of you know, like little finger foods. And now I'm really gonna stick around if there's food, that's fair, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> when I did watch, 
it's always funny at the Oscars now because it always it, it just reminds me of how much I haven't seen. Like I haven't yeah. I haven't seen Oppenheimer yet. Somehow Barbie just got on HBO, so that was playing in our house. Um, like American Fiction, never heard of it. Um, yeah. That Emma Stone movie, never heard of it. Um, By the way, I heard that movie is crazy. That Emma it, Stone. I mean, it looked it looked very nuts, but it, I mean, it looked cool in some parts, but it looked nuts. Yeah. Um, so, all in all, I mean, it's the the Oscars have kind of run the same formula for a long time. I didn't think there was anything particularly special about this one, except Ryan Gosling. He was he was pretty good. Um, but I mean, I do like Killian Murphy. I think he's a really good. I mean, when when yeah. I saw him as a scarecrow, I was like, dude, whoever this guy is, this guy's got the chops. Um, yep. and I remember looking and him he's up. He's like in I, every Chris Nolan film, anyway. Yeah, he is, isn't he? He's been he's been a staple in a lot of his. I think all of his movies, right? But they Not all are. But I mean, quite a few. Yeah, he wasn't an Inception. No, he was not in that. No, he um, was. Was he in that? Yes, he played the uh, the the business owner that they were trying to put the idea into. Oh God, you're right. Oh wow, but he wasn't yes. in uh, Interstellar. Um, he was in Dunkirk. I don't think he was in Tenant. Yeah. Okay. And when Christopher Nolan makes a movie, doesn't it take like five years to make? He is not a CGI fan. No, I know his no, movies I, take a long time. And he no, uses it takes him, it does take him a while to get a movie out. But yeah. usually he comes out with some pretty good movies every now and then. Eh, sometimes he becomes too Christopher Nolan and you get a film like Tenet. <laughs> too Nolan for your taste, Bob. Oh, good Lord. Look, I went to see Tenet during uh, the height of COVID. COVID. Yeah. Because it released, it was like one of the only new releases that summer. And... My son and I went to go see it, and I'm not going to lie. We enjoyed it because we hadn't seen any new movies in theaters for a few months. Yeah. <laughs> so it was nice to get to go to see one. Yeah, right. But that being said, it's tough to figure that movie out. <laughs> Christopher Nolan, he, he likes to make these movies that screw with your mind, and yes. this is definitely one of those. Now... I think he's back to form with Oppenheimer and I think Oppenheimer was a pretty good film. Now, my question is, do you think Oppenheimer would have won had it been another year where there was a lot tougher competition? That's a good point. I don't um, know. I don't know. That's a good question. I know you loved Barbie, Josh, but I didn't see it. I have not seen, I've only seen a little bit of it. No, I'm just giving him a hard time because uh, the other day he calls me and he was complaining about uh, the director not getting nominated and uh, Margot Robbie not getting nominated. And my response to that was, well, you know what? Leonardo DiCaprio didn't get nominated for Titanic, but Kate Winslet did. So, Hey, I'm still upset that Saving Private Ryan didn't win that year. Oh, uh, that's a whole nother story. Don't get me started on that one. Was that a, was a to say. We're going back now. <laughs> I know, I know. But let me ask you guys this. Do you feel that the Oscars have lost its touch a little bit? Like if you, I know Bobby, you stopped yes. watching. Well, okay. So the Oscars have lost their touch because movies have lost their touch. And I don't mean that like by saying that, you know, movie, I mean, there's, yeah, there's bad movies out there still. But the movie theater experience is not what it used to be anymore. Um, and that's that's a shame because that was the, like that was a place of worship. I've mentioned that before. Right. And it's just it's not the same thing anymore. You know, the fact that people can kick back and now these streaming platforms are just doing their own movies anyway. So yeah. now there's not to too. So now it's just like, well, why bother? I don't have to go, to, you know, if I don't need to. Um, it's it, it. There's not a mad dash like there used to be. That is right. true. Yeah, but you know what? I think that's part of why Barbie and Oppenheimer did so well is that Barbie and Oppenheimer. I mean, they turned that into an event. Yes. Come out and see Barbenheimer this weekend. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, they tried to make it. They tried to get people to the movie theater this summer. This well, third, it worked. You know, yeah, it worked. It did. Like, this yeah. past summer, I mean, and that was good. I think people needed to 
get out their keisters and get down to the theater and buy milk duds like they used to. Uh, milk duds, my favorite. Or whatever yeah. your candy of choice is. <laughs> yeah, Reese's Pieces. Uh, legit. That's fair. Um, I'm, I'm like E.T. <laughs> And he likes his hot dog. Bob is a big hot dog. Absolutely. Oh, that's bold. He <laughs> well, I mean, dog. it's an Angus dog, a quarter pound. I mean, of course I'm going to eat it. I love my popcorn. Like That's how I got my wonderful dogs. figure. Yes. He, in the words of HBK, you're just a sexy boy. That's right. By the way, Derek, by the way, speaking of popcorn, shush. Does that get that? <laughs> That's, so, an, that's an, old, an inside joke. It's an well, inside just a joke. quick thought uh, on the Oscars as far as when looking at the list of winners. Uh, obviously, I think Oppenheimer was the clear choice on this one. Mm, yeah, uh, I'll be I'll be honest. I didn't see all of the films that are on there, but Oppenheimer was a pretty good movie. Uh, Chris Nolan is a one of the actual good directors that's out there. He's a visionary as opposed to a lot of the directors nowadays. So uh, I think that one was well-deserved. I do think Killian Murphy and Robert Downey Jr. Uh, were well-deserved. So uh, the film winning the awards that it did, I think, I, I don't think it was unexpected, but I do think it was deserved. Uh, I just wanted to throw this one out there because this was actually my favorite movie of the year last year, and that was Godzilla Minus One. And uh, that one won for visual effects. Heard and good things I, about did it. either of you see Godzilla Minus One? No, but no. I heard very good things about it. Okay, this was a fantastic film because normally when you go see a Godzilla movie, uh, all you want to see are the giant monsters turning around and fighting. And this one, you actually cared about what happened to the human characters. Uh, it, they were the actual heart of the story, and it was a good story. Uh, it just happened to be in a Godzilla movie. And what impressed me is that it, that it won Best Visual Effects, but it did so on a $15 million budget, I believe it was. And that should put Hollywood to shame wow. because I saw Ant-Man and quantum mania or Ant-Man and the Wasp and quantum mania, the beginning of last year. And that was almost a $300 million budget. And some of those special effects looked awful. Was that last year? Yeah, that was the beginning of last year. February last wow. year. Oh, yeah, wow. That's when they got out of I phase think... four and st decided to try <laughs> phase five. And uh, yeah, it just, Oh gosh, no, 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 no started on that one, but but yeah, Godzilla minus one, uh, well deserved on that one. And if you gentlemen get a chance to see that, that was a good movie. I, I actually that was my favorite movie last year. Good to know. Cool. All right. Nice. Yeah. Good review. All right. So I think we said all we're going to say about the Oscars. 